insect fragments in your veggies to alien looking pests in your snacks. Here are 14 nasty bugs living in your food. Damn nature, you scary. And thanks to Lauren Durier for letting us know she enjoys the content. Hey, we appreciate that enthusiasm, Lauren. And we hope we're still your favorite channel after this appetizing episode, quote unquote. Thanks to all you epic subscribers. Cheers. Number 14. Insect Fragments While the Food and Drug Administration frowns upon entire insects appearing in a food, various parts of the creatures are allowed therein. That includes a certain amount of insect heads, legs, and other bodily fragments you might consume. The percentages vary according to the specific food and insect. That will become evident in the following segments. Now here's a couple of examples though. If you like ground cinnamon, Consider this, 400 insect fragments are allowed per 50 grams. Ground oregano can contain more than 1,200 insect fragments per 10 grams. And in the case of fig paste, up to 13 insect heads are allowed per every 100 grams. It doesn't matter whether the heads contaminated the figs before or after the fruit is harvested or processed, by the way. Of course, one might ask exactly how the critters were decapitated. And here's an FYI, did you know it's estimated that on average, you could unintentionally eat eat up to a pound of insects each year. Bon appétit. Book lice. These tiny insects can measure up to two millimeters long, and as the name implies, they are normally found in old books where they feed off of the paste used for binding. But they'll also feed on mold and dead insects. The critters are also known to infest food storage areas too, where they like to consume starchy, dry materials. From what we could tell though, the majority of these pests are usually content to feed by the book. fruit flies. These common insects can easily make your home into their home. All they need is a moist area that contains ripened fruit or vegetables. They use the moist areas to lay up to 500 eggs at a time. An easy way to avoid consuming these critters then is to simply throw out your damaged or overripened fruits and veggies. But you can still consume the bugs by drinking canned citrus juice. Each 8 ounce cup could contain around 5 fruit flies that you swallow with the juice. And an 8 ounce portion of raisins could contain close to 40 of these insects' eggs. Corn earworms. Now that name just sounds kind of creepy, doesn't it? Well, it's a type of moth larva that has proven to be a major agricultural pest. While they can adversely impact many crop plants, they feed off of corn silk in particular, and feed off of every part of the corn, even burrowing into the kernels. In fact, one way to avoid eating the critters is to simply cut off the kernels, and that'll often remove the pest. But if you're eating canned sweet corn, you might detect some extra crunch while you munch. A certain amount of the insect's larvae and skin fragments are allowed by the FDA. Cowpea curculio. Now this is actually the larvae of beetle-like weevils that belong to a family containing more than 86,000 identified species. They feed on many crops and plants, but favor legumes like black-eyed peas in particular. They can appear in canned black-eyed peas or cow peas, which could contain more than five of the larvae on average. To avoid adding these insects to your diet, skip the frozen or canned variety of peas, buy them dry, and then cook them yourself. Sawtoothed grain beetles. Now it's common to find these pests in your pantry where they can dig into processed foods like breakfast cereals, dried fruits, sugar, and chocolate. They're able to get into food that is sealed in boxes and packages, and it has to do with the six saw like teeth on either side of the thorax. Once a potential food source is located, the female lays her eggs there with as many as seven generations produced each year. Thrips. These are minute insects, only about a millimeter long, but there are 6,000 species of them known to exist. They are a well-known pest that can damage crops by transmitting plant-infecting viruses. And because they lay the eggs inside plant tissue, they can be difficult to kill with insecticides. Various amounts of them can show up in frozen vegetables like broccoli, asparagus, and Brussels sprouts. Aphids. Now they are also known as plant lice and are one of the most destructive pests to cultivated crops in temperate regions. About 250 of 4,400 species are considered to pose serious threats to agriculture. In addition to destroying flowers, 
The green and black bugs can get into frozen vegetables like spinach. And if you home brew your beer, be advised that the critters can invade your suds. Around 2,500 aphids to every 10 grams of hops are allowed by the FDA. Mites. These little white arthropods can be parasitic or predatory, and more than 48,000 species have thus far been documented. They're considered one of the most successful invertebrate groups because they can adapt to a wide variety of habitats, which can include your home as well. Like a lot of the other pests on a list, these varmints can get into your frozen food too. They're commonly found in wheat and in grains that have been stored for a while, and those types of mites can cause allergic reactions similar to those caused by the dust mites in your home. The best way to avoid eating mites is to stay away from canned or dried mushrooms. Around 75 of them are allowed per 100 grams. Maggots. Now here's a familiar name, although in this case familiarity likely breeds contempt. They're fly larvae that can show up in a number of foods, and that includes canned mushrooms and tomatoes, tomato paste, and maraschino cherries, whether frozen or fresh. Canned mushrooms are likely your best or worst bet to encounter the disgusting creatures. For every 100 grams of drained mushrooms, 20 are allowed. With tomato products, five maggots are allowed for every 500 grams. Canned citrus fruit juices can contain one maggot per cup, that is eight ounces, but not more than five fly eggs. And you can thank the FDA for those allowances. Lac bugs. If you have a sweet tooth, chances are you've consumed your share of confectioner's glaze, and that means you've enjoyed some sweet insects along the way. Candies like jelly beans and many chocolate products are coated with that shiny glaze, but it actually comes from a creature called the lac bug. It's a scale insect that secretes a waxy resin that's used in a variety of products, including adhesives, varnishes, and confectionery. If you see ingredients like natural food glaze, lacquer, or confectioner's resin listed you found the lac bugs hiding in your food. Did you know the word and product shellac is derived from these insects? Cochineal insects. Now here's another heads up for you candy lovers out there. You know the treats that are colored red like licorice whips. They get that bright coloration due to a red dye called carmine. That dye is used in cosmetics as well as food. And it's created by crushing together scale insects called Cochineals. They produce carminic acid, which they use to ward off predators. But the acid is also used to make carmine dye, the food colorant, where it's often listed as natural red four in the ingredients. Did you know that the insect's dye has been used to color fabrics in Central America since the 15th century? Insect cuisine. Now even though we've mostly been talking about insects giving us a nasty surprise by turning up in a food, it doesn't mean they cannot be good for you. And that's to say that in many parts of the world, people do not mind finding insects in the food because insects are the food. Some of the better known insect cuisine includes grasshoppers and locusts. Termites are another popular choice, along with witchetty grubs found in Australia. They're a staple of the diet of the Aboriginal people and are said to taste like almonds. Because they can provide high levels of protein, many experts say insects are the food of the future. The only nasty surprise might be not eating them as your meal. And let's take a quick time out for an honorable mention here. While we were researching the episode, we could not help noticing stories about spiders sneaking into various foods, so we're going to include the arachnids as an honorable mention. Now, it's not uncommon for the eight-legged invaders to crawl inside shipments of fruit, oftentimes bananas, sometimes traveling around the world to arrive at your local grocery store. Some of these arachnids can be as exotic as the fruit itself, and also quite large and potentially dangerous. A pregnant wolf spider is said to have survived a 6,000 mile journey from India to Scotland while hiding in a box of grapes. It was discovered when a woman found the two inch spider exploring a fridge, and that might have resulted in a case of the food eating the consumer, because those spiders are capable of delivering a nasty bite. We even found some stories where the creatures somehow wound up in canned foods like ravioli. But to be fair, we could not verify those stories, but it still sounds pretty scary.
pale tussock caterpillars. Now here's an insect that would likely give the xenomorph in the alien movie some nightmares. It would definitely fit right in with a sci-fi horror movie, and it even has some choppers that look like they could pop right out of its mouth. And just think, this beast could be sharing your home or even hiding in your food. It's known as the pale tussock caterpillar, and it'll eventually morph into a tussock moth. Now, while they're in this stage, the insects have what appear to be long hairs and spines, which can give it an exotic appearance. But those are poisonous quills, which can cause skin rashes upon contact. Now, if you're big on spinach, there is a chance you might consume these critters. Caterpillars, along with larval fragments, are among the 50 or so insects that the Food and Drug Administration allows in every 100 gram of Popeye's favorite snack, aka spinach. Damn, nature, you scary.